Hey, welcome everyone. Today, I'm going to take you through a sneak peek of what More Blocks is all about. Um, we're going to look at the components. We are going to look at the responsiveness. We're going to look at global styles. We are also going to talk about our companion, which is a Chrome extension. So let's get into a development environment for breakdance and let's see how we can do that. So this is um, a flat breakdance environment. We don't have anything over here. We are going to use more blocks to see some of the advantages that we do have and how you'll be able to um, effectively use it to build something really, really good. Um, one thing that um, I said was we do have a companion. If let's say you have subscribed to more blocks, whether the free version or the pro version, you have access to a website. The website will contain um, your subscriptions and also it will contain a library of blocks so that you'll be able to go to the library and copy it. So if you visit moreblocks.com slash library, you should be able to copy, um, let's say a component. There's another thing that comes with it, which is the Chrome extension. What the Chrome extension does is that it takes everything that is within the library and breaks it and, and brings it right into your developmental environment. It brings it over here. And that is what I want to show you because that is something that I think is only exclusive to more blocks when it comes to WordPress development. And uh, it is something that is going to change the way that you build your breakdance website if you have subscribed to either the free or the pro plan more blocks is also really responsive and it also respects global styling so these four things are what more blocks is all about so i'm going to show you we have a really vast um variety of blocks so let's first trigger our extension if you've um, installed extension or if you've ever been around extension you know how like to trigger extension right now i'm using a browser called arch and for Arch, if you want to trigger your extension, you have to go to this, you have to hover on that dot over here and it brings this up. You click here and then your extension should be here. With more blocks, we have um, integrated the extension with a shortcut. So when you have installed your extension, all that you have to do is you, you never have to go hover here and then look for your extension and click on it all the time to make it pop. And you know how some extensions they go away when you start working on your website. That is not what is going to happen. So let me show you how this one works. So when you hold Control Shift M, you can trigger your extension. The extension that you do, the extension that you have installed, which is the More Blocks extension, you can trigger it by just a simple shortcut, which is Control Shift M. You open your extension, you close it by that same shortcut, Control Shift. Um, to close it so that is how to open and close the extension also the extension only works when you have your developmental environment open if you go to the back end of your website and you're doing something in the back end your extension wouldn't show over there you wouldn't be able to trigger the extension when you are in other parts of the website and that is not this canvas if you are within the canvas for building a site, you will be able to trigger the extension. If you are outside the canvas for building a site, you won't be able to trigger the extension. So that is something that you should know. And as I said, it res um, more blocks respects global styling and also it respects responsiveness or it is really responsive. So let's try and build something really quick within like five minutes. Let's see what we can build. Um, let's say a whole landing page of navigation hero teams and other stuff like that. So let's let's try and do that. So I am going to trigger it by holding Control Shift M, and then let me go into filter. Let's reset whatever filter that we do have here. The first thing that I want is a navigation bar. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm just going to trigger my structure panel. Click over here and then do Command V. So Command V we paste it if you are on. Windows, I think it is control or something like that. I've forgotten. So you'll be able to do that. As you can see, this one should go away. And then I choose that. All right. I shouldn't really be doing this this way. What I'm going to do is finish importing all my components that I do want. So I have my nav bar over here. 
the next thing that I do want to see is I want a hero section. So hero, name the hero section. Let's just pick something really simple. So paste this over here. So okay, that is good. The next thing that I do want is let's say um, we want some logo, right? Some logo um, selections and other stuff like that. I can remove the hero section and let's say yep let's take something like something like this right all right so we do have that and we do have this over here which is pretty good we can go back here reset everything and uh, and we will say that we do want let's say a cta so uh, for the cta i'm just going to pick this and come in and paste it over here so our cta is also there Let's go back. Let's say we do want themes, right? Like we do want to show the people who are on our theme. So we can pick this uh, and that should be good. And let's go back. Let's say we do want, uh, let's reset everything here. And we do want, let's say a pricing table, pricing table, copy pricing table and put it over here. So that is our pricing table. Mm. All right, um, let's say we do want, let's remove that. We do want a feature section. So it is a feature section. Um, so for features, uh, we do have a few things. I'm going to click on that, copy that. It should not have this hero word over here. All right, so that is what we do have. Um, the next thing that we do want to tackle is, let's say more feature section, right? Let's say let, more of them. Let's pick this and then paste that here. So more feature section like that. Do have a price in. Um, yeah, let's remove this word. All right. Um, so that being put over there, the next thing that probably I do want is, um, let's say we don't want a banner, we don't want a footer, we don't want a team FAQ. Let's add an FAQ to the very, uh, let's say FAQs right here and let's do let's just copy this that is fine paste it over here for faq all right that's very good and i'm going to do another cta for the bottom all right let's I'll click that so for cta i am going to use something that has let's say this button over here and then we pasted that all right so we do have uh let's do a little let's see modify I want to see, okay, there's a transform on this. I don't want that. So I just saved it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide my, my extension by doing the same control shift M. Now it is gone because the free, I didn't have to visit any website. I didn't have to install any plugin. I didn't have to have like any pop-up, none of that. So just have a Chrome extension where that really seamless is pretty good. All right. So this is what you have. So the next thing that you might want to do is probably like um, try responsiveness. So you do have your images responding perfectly like that. And you go in and you can try even tablet. And you do have also this for tablet. You have things lead. If they are stacking, then they're stacking perfectly. Spaced in between. Also just like that. Um, you do have your image here. You can make your image 100% if you want. Um, you do have your FAQ with the down bar and you do have also this over here okay uh, let's try and say mobile so this is your mobile version see so when it all right a slide on it it shows like things like that which is pretty nice but mobile is also really responsive nothing to really worry about when it comes to like responsiveness and yeah everything works so if we go and we try to make things more um more structured you can see this huge spaces in here you just have to go in and use either the global style to change things so let's say we do have like buttons right so i can go into my global styling and then we can do it like buttons so we do have buttons here primary one let's say we want our background color to be black all right so all the primary buttons their background now change to black that is pretty good um let's say we do have a secondary one here let's say our secondary one we want our background color to be red Boom. Now, anything that is on the secondary will have a background color of red. Let's say we do have um, this for 
our hero copy um, the typography it has an h1 tag so you can just go into like your advanced and go into heading you can have h1 over already over here but when i start increasing it you can see that it is increasing by responding to your global settings um what again this one is on h3 so you can also go in here so okay anything that is on h3 so you can say heading and that is on h3 make it 42 so anything that is on h3 will respond to that 42 typography text that we do have let's save it and then go into the front end and we have been able to create not like the most stylish landing page but you've been able to make a wireframed landing page using more blocks in less than 10 minutes so we started building the page in about like five minutes into the video and by 11 minutes we have been able to come up with something that is decent enough for anybody who is looking to like to build anything um, that is not like over the top because with this you'll be able to like add your colors add pictures to make it even more nicer you can go in and then fix um your spacing if you want to fix your spacing and all of that so these are like some these are what you will be able to use more blocks to do all right so let's go back in here and then save it so if you were looking for a sneak peek into what more blocks is all about it's about having the biggest component library when it comes to breakdowns it's about global styling it's about responsiveness and also is about you having a companion right within your building environment without having to have two or three tabs open and those two or three tabs are the one that you're using you are going back and forth which is really time consuming we just the comp we just that chrome extension as a companion you are able to just go in copy it and just paste it into your developmental environment okay so that is the sneak peek and i'm also going to say that uh, more blocks is in beta state and right now we are still collecting people to come on the wait list when you join the wait list you might have the opportunity to also test more block for yourself and we'll be able to do like changes that you might also want so if you haven't joined the wait list you can go to moreblocks.com and then you can just put in your email and send it and i'll be able to receive it and yep you receive an email welcoming you to the community and all of those other um, nice things so my name is nyakon this is a sneak peek into more blocks join the wait list and i will see you on the facebook group <laughs>